Hi, Julie Torrens here. I am back in the Junkie Junk Journal. And last time I was here, we at the end, we did some gesso here and here. And I went ahead and did some gesso here and here. And I'll tell you why. I was looking this over and I decided I want to fold this because I like it the way it is. Trying to fold it so that there, so that it's not hanging out. You know, if I get it too crooked, it'll hang out the bottom. And I'm just going to glue this shut. So did I have to gesso it? Well, maybe, maybe not. But I do know that the gesso is definitely going to have this glue go on better. So let's just get some glue on here, smear it around a little bit, and this is going to be another flap. I like the little flips and flaps and stuff like that. I need to learn to incorporate it in more of my journals is what I need to do. So I think that's good. I'm just using my Beacon foam and poster board glue. I'm, I'm liking it more and more every time I use it. Okay. Let's get this down. And I think this will make a cool flap. And then what I want to do is I want to make this side and this side go together with a flap in the middle. Why? Because it's a junk journal, and I think that'll look cool. Okay, I've got a stringer, like uh, like when you're using a uh, hot glue. Every once in a while, this stuff will string out. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good. Okay, and then what I want to do is reverse painting, pulling up my sleeves. So the last time I was just reaching for stuff, just blindly, I had this piece of netting. This came from a bag of oranges. And I want to put color, not on this, but color, and then same on the other side with the texture of this. So some places the texture is going to show up more than others, and, and that's all okay. I've got some paints that I pulled out of my bargain bowl, different colors. And then the patterns and the, the things that are underneath are also going to show. All right, I need something to tuck in here as well. Hang on. Let's see. I'm reaching. Oh, good grief. What's this? Let's see. I got rid of a whole bunch of these papers because I had just too many. All right. I found something. Boy, this is, this is good paper. Oh, you know what? We're just going to do the best we can. Not going to, not going to get too crazy about all this. We'll see if I use that, it'll make it mushy. Let's grab a glue paper. How about that? Not there. Here. Well, you know, you think you got yourself ready to go and it's just a mirage. Okay. I'm setting these over here. I'm going to start with the yellow. It's a yellow ochre color. These are acrylic paints. And I'm going to put some on my handy little palette thing, paper plate. I've just got cosmetic sponges. And some of these are more transparent than others. None of that matters to me. I just want to get some color and some texture all over. Good. I think what I'm going to do, though, hmm, 
Well, I want to do one color at a time. So that's why I am kind of waffling here. But And some of them are going to overlap, and that's fine. All right, now I can move this over. Flip that and keep going over here. I need a little more yellow. Okay. Out of my way. Got to remember the edges and the corners because I want it all the way down and all the way up. So I hope you're doing well. It is a cold day here, 20 degrees. I don't know what that is in Celsius, but 32 for us is your zero. And we're 20, so we are that far below freezing. Okay, looking good. I'm going to go back to the other side. And as I say, some places the texture is showing up better than others. It doesn't matter. Now, I'm going to use this same sponge. And I'm going to go into this red. And this is just called red. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. A little bit more paint. I'm going to scooch this down. Because remember, get the edges, get the bottom, get the corners. Sometimes I forget. We can put a little bit more over here. Okay. Flip it over. Do some over here. I can see I'm getting some on the next page. I'm not worrying about it. I'm just not worrying about it. All the way to the top. Get some all the way at the bottom. So I'm seeing some more junk journals coming up on my videos. Different folks that are working on it. And then my friend Paula. Hi, Paula. Paula is doing a junk journal. Now, she's not a YouTuber, but she's in the artist group that I'm in. Okay, I use this for two colors. I'm, I've am i got a bowl of water that I'm just dropping these in as I go. But I needed to use one with two colors. All right, let's get a blue. I may not even use all these colors, but we'll see. This one's called light blue. And I'm tapping it out so that I don't have too much because the gloopier, gloppier it is, the more it's going to want to fill in instead of give me a texture. Okay, a little more color over here. Yes, I am liking this. I hope you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's good with the blue on that side. I like what the blue did. 
it it's kind of kind of accenty. I think I already put yellow way down here, but that's okay. Good. There's yellow here, but it didn't get any texture, so I'm going to put some blue on top. Yep, that gave it some texture. Same over here. That yellow must be just a little too liquidy. Okay, one more color, I think. Oh, I think I have two more colors, but that's all right. I'm going to go with the green. I'm going to drop this one in the water. And... Let's get the green. I have a lot of left, red left over. It's okay. I'm trying not to be wasteful. Okay. Green. I'm going to put some over here where that yellow is again. The yellow came a little bit more textury. And over here, I've got none. So let's get some right here. Isn't this a fun way to use a, a orange bag? Okay, that looks good. Over here. green. I wanted to pick out more colors than less in case I, you know, I'd rather not use a color than wish I had more. I'm just going to places that I see have no color. How are we doing? It's looking pretty good to me. What do you think? Looks good. It looks good. Now, I'm just going to give it now a really good once over. Any place that I really see nothing. Okay. Same on this side. Whoops. I think I can set this aside. All right, there's nothing here. I'm going into the blue with the green. Good. There's more here. Good. Over here. Okay. It looks good. Excellent. All right, put this in the water. And I'm just going to set this, hopefully, where I won't kick it over. But I just don't want those to get all hard. Okay, this can go over here, over here. All right. So what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to give it a quick dry. And I'm going to be doing some reverse painting. And all these colors are going to be clothing. And I know that's kind of hard to understand what I'm talking about, but you'll see as we go along. But I just want to get, and I'm only getting the top dry, but that's okay. I just don't want the colors to jump right up and be into the next layer. I don't want to smear them up. So I'm just giving them, like I said, a, just a quick. All right. Okay, heat gun. Don't fall on the floor because I know you're hot. Oh, nothing's easy. There, there, okay. Now, 
I need heads. And I'm thinking three folks on each side. So I've got my, this is called a portrait pink. And I'm just going to give it a little squirt here. I have had this paint for years and years. And this is a um, artist loft paint. I don't know if they still make it this way anymore, but that is a good paint, that, that tube anyway. And I've got my big long brush. I'm gonna get it wet, dab it off, and one, two, three people, okay? It's a thick paint, heavy body. And it is heavy body for a, for like a, you know, a, a store brand kind of thing. This stuff is great. All right. I'm going to put one head here and I'm going to make it this shape because there's going to be like a headpiece that's going to be in there. So I don't want the heads to just be all perfectly round. I, I want them to, they're going to have a, you know, like a scarf or something. And I'm going to make this one a little shorter. And I'm going to make this one just kind of a curvy thing on the top there. Their hair, they're not, we're not going to see hair. We're just going to be seeing headgear with their with their outfits okay and then I think the last one will make nice and tall she could have moved over some but that's okay mm, maybe I'll do this one this way like a side part of the scarf or whatever it's going to be. Okay. Now I think I can just kind of hold this up and I want three more. This paint, I need a little water. It's just almost, almost to the point of gummy. But again, I've had it a long time, like maybe a decade. No kidding. Okay, mm, I think this one I'll go ahead and just make a, a oval. All right, and another one. Make the tall one in the middle. We'll go again with this kind of where the scarf will be. Good. All right, and one more. I have twice as much paint as I needed. That's okay. And okay, so we've got our three faces. And now we can kind of figure how and where their clothing is going to be. I really want to get the acrylic because, boy, that will tighten up a brush. Ooh. All right. Now, where did I put my no stick plastic? Here it is. We'll start working 
over here. And we'll just let those dry. They're the most dry. All right, I've got my Stabilo. I'm going to put these paints away. I've got my Stabilo Woodies. They are a type of water-soluble crayon. And, oh, before that, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Um, I want to use a, a fairly benign color here, but I just want to draw in where I want their gowns. And here. And here. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna, I know that's hard to see, but I can see it, it'll be all right. And then maybe this one will be like a, it's like a clover shape. And this one, I think it'll just be a ball. All right, I know those are hard for you to see, but you'll kind of get the picture when we keep going. Now, I want black because that's what I'm gonna use for my reverse painting. And, oh, can we open it? Yes. That's what happens when you have a bowl of bargain paints. Sometimes they don't get used for a little while. I'm gonna put the black right on top of this blue because it's pretty dry. And we're gonna start reversing. So I'm going to start out with their little hats and I'm just going to go around. I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing it, but however I end up doing it, that's the way it's going to be. Like that. All right, now, I'm tempted to go over the top of the head, but no, no, that's, that's not where, I mean, that would make the hat be floating in the air. So now I'm just going to do the outlines, and it doesn't have to be exact. The... The lines I have are more of a guideline, not, not in stone. There's no possible way to make a mistake. All right. I can see the yellow poking through the yellow line. And I'd rather not have that from the crayon. These two are not going to, their gowns aren't going to be touching. There, all right. I'm gonna add just a little water to my brush. Now, this one has a bun. Good. These two gowns will be touching. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is so fun. Okay, there's our two. Get a little water again. I really wasn't sure if this black was going to be opaque, but it is. All right. So who on YouTube besides me, and thank you for being here, who besides me are you guys watching? I'm, I'm linking a new to me person. Her name is Anne. She does mixed media and journals and a whole different style, different than Gail Agostinelli, different than Gary, Gary, Carrie the Crafter, and I just, I love it. I love her style very much. So the link to her YouTube channel will be in the description. It was in my last video as well, but I forgot to talk about it. Hi, Anne. Her last name starts with a K, but I apologize, Anne. I don't remember your last name. But her channel is like mine, that her last name, first and last name, that's her channel name. Okay, now, I've got a little bit over here. Where the gown is. I'm just going to lift this. To get right to the edge. And I'll probably end up getting some on the other side. And then it'll glue itself down. I hope not. But we'll deal with that all when we come to it. I'm going all the places that I know I need a small brush and then I'll get the bigger brush out. Okay. I'm giving in there. Reminds me of Sharpie marker. You know I love my black Sharpie markers. But this will be, this will give it a lot better look than if I did it with Sharpie. Okay. There we go. They are looking so sweet. You know, I think I could just keep going with this brush because there's really not that much area that I can just go in here with a big old mop brush. There really isn't. It's not like I'm working in one of those giant art journals of mine. But I'm just loving this junk journal. Junky junk journal. And I don't know how much you can see, but where I did the, the mesh... I mean, I can see words, I can see numbers coming through as well. And I love that. Totally love that. Bring this up here. All right. A little more water. Mm -hmm. 
Are they starting to show up to you? You know, can you can you start to see the 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 humans that I'm creating here? I hope so. I love the texture. If you're hearing a little additional squeak noise, out on my patio or my balcony, I've got some uh, summer, you know, lawn, not lawn, but, you know, outdoor patio furniture, a couple of chairs, and then I've got a couple of flower pots, and they're all kind of nestled together for winter. Well, something out there just started uh, I think yesterday, as there was a breeze or a wind, it's squeaking. I have no idea what it is. And there's snow out there. I mean, I would go outside and, and just move some stuff around. I don't want to go stomping out there in the snow. There's There's about four inches deep of snow on my balcony right now. So I just would rather not. Because if I stomp it out there, then I got to stomp it in the living room. You know what I mean? So I would rather wait till it's dry out there and then I'll move stuff around. Who knows? Maybe it'll be nice in springtime. Wouldn't that be great? My finger stuck on the black and then it lifted the paint. Okay. There's our first three folks. <laughs> I love them. Now I'm going to have to dry them a little bit because anything I lay over there is definitely going to stick. So let's just give it a little top dry. So you know that I have outside my window, there's a pond, they call it a lake, but it's a pond, but it's big. And we had that warmer weather. Oh, the ducks and the geese were out there just honking and quacking and swimming and just being so happy. It never completely froze out there. Not really. We just haven't had that kind of winter. Even when we had, what did we have? Like 22 inches? We, we had one good snow blast, but it was not enough that it made a hard freeze on that, on that pond. The minute the sun came out, the pond was, was liquidy, but I think it was still too cold. The animals were not going in it yet. But last week, I want to say it was in the 50s. And we had squirrels, we had birds. It was just such a celebration. But no more. Okay. If it sticks or lifts some of the black, we'll just come back and repair but let's work on the other side. Just lay that gentle. I'm not going to smash it down. Okay, I'm going to draw again just to give myself a bit of a, oh, a, a bit of a guideline. There's that one. And bumps, bumps, bumps. And I'm not even going to do their gowns. I think I kind of have that figured out. Okay. I know you can hardly see that if, if you can see it at all, but it's there. And let's keep going with the black. Isn't this fun? Now, the, um, the, the things that are underneath them, the, the paper, you know, that I gessoed, well... I can see it even more on this side than I could on the, you know, that I could see on the other. Okay, now I got to think about a gown. We'll put it right like that. Good. There's that one. 
Now, I want to get this one's gown in, or at least the start. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't mean to chuckle at my own work, but I am. You know, I'm, what I'm thinking right now is like, where are they going? Where are they going dressed up like this? <laughs> and what kind of a hairdo do you wear under there like that? All right. I know I made this. I can't even see it. Well, just going to have to wing it. I can remember thinking I wanted her just to have a, a big old bun. Good. And her gown. Good. And I think I'm going to make this gown like this so they can, you know, we can see through. I guess we shouldn't because of, well, it's the way it is. It's a shadow. And... And there. Okay, filling it in. Yep, this was the other side of the pizza. Where it had the coupons and other kinds of words. Okay. My head's getting in, I'm sorry. A little more water. That's a lot of water. Let's get a little paint. Kind of running all over. Once you get a good amount of the Whatever color you decide, you don't have to do black. I've done purple, I've done blue, I've done, oh, all kinds of colors. And sometimes I use a more transparent paint. But this time, I was hoping this would be opaque, but I was going to go with whatever it was. I find that reverse painting is very fun. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to round this one off a bit. It looks too much to me like a, a Pope hat. I got some black on the other side of that flip-flop part, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. It's coming along. So if you've been with me this long and you're still watching, you must like my content. So please consider subscribing. I have almost 780, I think, uh, subscribers. Lost a few when I was sick, and that happens, and that's okay. It's fine. But uh, 
I'd like to get to a thousand. It opens up a lot of doors for me. And, you know, I work, you guys know I'm a nurse and I work three nights a week. Most of the time, there's times I don't like this week, I sore throat and I cannot afford to give a sore throat to my client. And as it turned out, the client had a sore throat too. So did we have the same thing or why? We don't know. But I will be retiring soon. And I'm hoping that my YouTube channel can help supplement my retirement. I'm not expecting YouTube to be my retirement. Honestly, that's a little bit risky. I I just don't think channels like mine generate that kind of income anyway. But I will be starting more, you know, you know that I've already um got digitals out there. And I sold enough digitals that I was able to buy some more stencils, which I was just like super excited. But I'm very budgeted. I have everything. Please don't think that you have to start sending me food. No, 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 no. No, my bills are paid. And I mean, that's why I'm working. Um, but if I can get to a thousand, then people will consider you to maybe try their products and review. Um, people will... There's, there's more doors open for affiliate links, things like that. And it just helps your channel grow. The more eyes, the better. So please consider subscribing. When I hit a thousand, I'm having a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two different journals. Not this one. One is a um, steampunk theme and one is a winter theme. But they're not junk, well, they, they are junk journals, but they're not junky junk journals. They are journals that are designed for you to write in. There's writing spaces. There's places you could put photos or whatever you want. Okay, how we doing? I am liking it, folks. I hope that you are. And... I'm not concerned about this that we can see. As a matter of fact, well, I was going to say I was going to bring that one down, but no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm just going to maybe bring it up a little here. Okay, we've got our three people. I'm just seeing where I've got kind of a lot of black that I can spread it out a little bit to help with the drying. Okay, good. Let's look at the other side. I'm gonna set this aside. Good. So there's our three people. Well, six. Can you see them? with their little outfits. You know, the next time we get together, we're gonna put their faces in. Their faces are dry, but with this thing and with as wet as, as this wants to be, I'm just gonna let us call this a video. And when we get back together, we're just gonna finish up with some fun details. How does that sound? All right. So please consider thumbs up, subscribe. It helps me so much. Right down here is a video that's been picked out just for you. So I will see you over there. Bye.